Mario and Cocktown. It's me, Mario. Yep. All right, good start. Looks good on me? I know. Shout out to my girlfriend, Cats, in the chat for the greatest shirt. I didn't even ask for this shit. She just picked it out and it fits fucking perfectly. It's like the greatest fucking material. Everywhere I go, I get compliments on it. All right, now we're trapped in this horse cock. I forgot about that! Oh my gosh! I completely forgot that that was a thing! I forgot that you ordered that! Oh, hell yeah! Just in time for the rest of summer. They're shutting down the 350 marketplace on July 25th. I don't know what the hell that is. And where's the happy mask salesman and why did he get replaced by a big booby? met with a terrible fate, haven't you? That's what it says on the back of my shirt! If you're wondering why you're here, don't worry. I'll tell you. Just the other day, someone stole a precious mask of mine. It is called Majora's Mask. It is called Majora's Mask! And it holds incredible powers beyond human comprehension. And the person who stole it is none other than King Bowser. He plans to use it to destroy all of Termina and conquer the Mushroom Kingdom. Which is why I summoned you here. You're the only one who can stop Bowser's evil plans and return my mask to me. I believe he is at the very top of Clock Tower, but we're going to need to find some power stars before you can face him. I fetched two maps of Clock Town into the walls of this room. There are some important clues on how to find it that can help you find some power stars. Once you get Majora's mask, you can return home. However, it may take all day to find it. But you shouldn't have any problems with that. Believe in your strengths. Believe. Alright. What the hell is this? 200 coins for this shit? What is this? There's what the hell? I gotta memorize this whole damn thing? Well, if the stray fairies are in the same spot as the vanilla game... Listen, I'm a Majora's Mask master. So is, is that Bombette from Paper Mario? What the fuck? Alright, let's go. Let's just go to Clock Town. Hell yeah. Yeah, Chris, this is pretty cool, bro. Welcome to Majora's Mask like you've never seen it before. Yeah, he said there was two maps. Where the hell's the other one? Can we leave the town? <laughs> Sir, you're not allowed to leave the town. You want to know why? Don't ask stupid questions. Guys, look, I've got a real life bomb now, dude. For 500 bits, I'll take this to the airport. No, I'm kidding. I will not do that. Bomb bets notebook instead of the bomber's notebook? If that's actually the case, that's the smartest thing. Do you guys think Bomb Chew Girl is here? Probably not. I don't think there's any NPCs. Also, that's crazy there's no loading zone between that. Is Bomb Chew Girl here? No, it's an ugly ba bomb Chew Bomb! Step it up, folks. Step right up and play my game. You get 21 seconds to find the dang darn treasure chest and win my prize. Failing, you have to start all over again. Hey, what's that? You want to use a better camera? Ha, huh, no dice, bucko. Uh, I like Bomb Chew Girl better than this piece of shit. At least we can go behind the counter. He's gotta run through this maze, I'm guessing. Holy shite. Ah, my favorite. I love mazes, chat. My favorite. Why do they purposely make the fucking camera as ass as possible? Also, I can't even fucking wall kick up shit because it's like slowing me down. This is about as fun as it is in the actual game. Which is not very fun at all. Yeah. 
You piece of shit. I actually died. Yeah, I don't know what the other map was. That Koopa just came from the sky. Did you guys see that? That Koopa just came from the sky. Well, all of you guys are like, Zach, Zach, you haven't streamed Majora's Mask in such a long time. There you guys go. This is your guys' Majora's Mask content for the year. Come back in 2025 and I'll play the rest. Alright. 25 seconds, he said. I turned the corner, I got jump scared by a fireball. Yeah, this shit. Do I win yet? No. Come on, only 25 seconds, asshole. There we go, I win. Is that the bunny hood? Do I actually get to use that? That'd be pretty sick. Why is the bunny hood on the treasure chest? I can't even use the damn thing. I love that star collecting sound. I don't know how many stars I need. You've recovered a power star. Keep up the hard work. Oh, get me the hell out of here. Does he have any new dialogue now that I beat the minigames? Does he say, like, congratulations, Bucko, you're my favorite deputy? Nope, he just says the same shit. There is, there is. Hold up, where is it? Let me back up so I can get a good view of it. Who the fuck is this? Why are these guys here? I was wondering why the game was slightly lagging, but I realized, oh gosh, there's a lot of shit here. There's the moon, guys. There's the moon. Mario and Clock Town. Oi, you seen my son? His name is Ben. The last time I saw him, he was playing by the laundry pool. I keep telling him it's too dangerous for him to swim the- <gasps> Ben- Oh, I already know where this is going. Ben drowned? Oh no, I already know where this shit's going. He never listens. Could you get him for me? I won't move until you find him. I'll wait all day if I have to. Oh no, the Ben Drowned. No wonder there was creepypasta involved. Ben Drowned reference. Since I'm a Majora's Mask expert, I want to see if they put anything behind where the secret treasure chest is in the main game. It's actually fun using Mario's moveset to navigate Clock Town. Because now I can just do like, boing. Is there anything back here? No, they didn't put anything back here, boo. Not a real Majora's Mask fan. Get the frick away from me. Wait, can I go in the stock pot in or no? Nah. It's actually kind of cool exploring Clock Town with no loading zones. It really puts into perspective, like, the actual layout, you know what I mean? I'm so used to, like, having to load into each of these rooms. Like, I can already see the inside of the Great Fairy Fountain from here, which is so cursed to me. I do wish... I don't know how hard this would probably be. It probably would be really hard. But I wish that they would keep some of the Zelda NPCs to at least talk to. So it would feel more like Mario is in Termina. Instead of just like both of the worlds kind of mishmashed, but I, I, that might actually be like really hard to do, so I'm not gonna judge them. Because what do I know about making games? Nothing. I barely know what it is to play them. I'm assuming there's a 100 coin thing. Do I get money for killing you guys, or what's up with this? Yeah. 
I don't even get a shell. He just like legitimately dies. What the hell? I didn't even see this guy here. I found a frog. There was a little froggy boy. You piece of shit. I'm trying to get at least 100 coins. There's another frog in here, by the way. Bitch. That was a perfect landing, by the way. Where would the other frogs be? Do you think they were on the map? Oh, it's an owl statue! I don't know how long this game is. The game said it was like... 30 minutes long, so I don't think it's that long. It said estimated time of completion 30 minutes. I was like, okay, so by Milky Finisher standards, an hour. Hey Mario, the wooden pen in front of the owl statue lets you skip 12 hours. Use it to skip straight to day or night. Oh, there's actually a day-night cycle. If you do that, you will lose all of your coins, so be careful. Thank you so much for telling me so I did not lose all my coins when I had 96 of these damn things. Wait, what? There's not a 100 coin thing? There's another map in Clock Tower? Hold on. I'm not lost yet, so give me a second. I want to keep... Listen, my my memory of Clock Town is perfect. This is my favorite video game of all time. I know this place better than the inside of my house. Clock Town is my life. There should be... Oh, there should be one more frog left. It's the Don Garros mask. What's up, homie? It's such a nice day today, don't you think? The only thing that could make it better is to hear the frog sing a little song. Could you go fetch some frogs for me, buddy? I'll give you a reward for it. We need one more. I already made that joke, Dayron. Thank you very much. Wait, I hear the... I hear a penguin. fuck is it? The fuck? There's an arrow pointing over here. Wait, how am I supposed to get him? How the hell am I supposed to get him? Is there like an invisible cap? Bro, I can't save the penguin. He's drowning. That would be the greatest dream come true, but it would never happen. Even if they made a Legend of Zelda theme park, it would just be like Hyrule Castle and shit. But damn, would I love Clock Town. Clock Town is my favorite fictional town in any video game. Nintendo used to be so good at making towns, man, with like side quests, NPCs. Because I think my second favorite town in any video game is Rogueport from Thousand Year Door. And then I think third would be Skyloft. What the hell is this shit? You're playing TTYD right now? Warning, if you enter this door, you will lose all your coins. You should only go through here if you don't mind that happening. You must be a big, stupid idiot if you accidentally lost all your coins this way. Well, buddy... I have all my damn coins, but what's the point? What's the point of collecting coins? I, you know, I don't understand. Unless, can I go to the bank? Oh, you know the, you know the post office. I also don't know where the last frog is. Um, hello. I want to talk to you, dickhead. Hello, sir. Say you got a lot of coins in your pocket. I can see you bulging out of your pants. You should really save your money. I'll keep your coins safe, I swear. Not only that, I'll give you a special item if you save 200 coins. I know it sounds like a lot, but it's a really good deal, I swear. Well, how do I give you my coins? Do I just need to collect 200? Is that the strat? That's a lot, dog. That's asking a lot of me. Yeah. 
200 damn coins, huh? Mario's just like indiscriminately running around Clock Town killing everybody. Yes, I know I can go in the post office, but I want to uh, see if there was more money I can get from over here. Because they said if you change it from day to night. Clock Town Massacre! Do you guys think if there's you do genocide route and kill all the people in Clock Town, then Sans shows up and Ben drowned and they both bend over right in front of Mario and Mario like gets an erection? Does anybody think that would happen? Wouldn't it be funny if that happened? That would be like really weird and uh, strange. And hot. Come here, fucker. This is the last frog, by the way. Sweet. Get me up here, buddy. Wow, I couldn't even get up that way. Cringe. I feel like I'm going to be just short. Because I don't know how the hell I'm going to find, like, 28 more damn coins or however many I need. 26 coins. Well, these guys give me a shit ton. Not really. What the fuck? Sorry. Do these guys just give me unlimited coins or something? Dun, 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 dun. I need 20 more. No, they don't even give me coins, so I don't even know what to do. Bruh. Chat, what do I do? Bro, I need 20 more coins. I don't know where I'm gonna find. I went everywhere in all of Clock Town, right? There we go. Is there anything in here? No. I did! That was actually one of my first things I did when I got here. I checked where the silver rupee normally is, but they didn't put anything there. Can I just, like, jump over this guy? No. Well, damn, shit. Am I missing? There's gotta be, like, a blue coin switch or something that I'm missing, right? Lame. I know, right? That would've been a perfect place to put, like, a blue coin switch. And I can't cut the grass. I also don't know how to save the penguin. There's a lot of mysteries in this game. There's a lot of places that there could have been secrets, but I don't see any. Does this guy say the same thing as the other guy? Sir, you're not allowed to leave town. Yeah, don't ask stupid questions. Right? Hit the balloon? Uh, sure. I don't know how. Wait, good news? Hell yeah, that's awesome. It's fine, I'm playing Super Mario Goes to Clock Town from Majora's Mask. Uh, so far, we're stuck. <laughs> we're, I'm lost. Jump from the tree? Good point. Uh, how the fuck am I supposed to get a running start on this thing, though? Fuck. Maybe I just, like, wall kick or something? Wait! You can't just say that! You can't- you can't just say that and not elaborate. What the fuck does that mean? When I end stream, I have to call you. <laughs> when I end stream, I have to call you. Please do. Holy shit. I'm gonna go get this star. Chat, I don't know where these last 20 coins could be. I, I really don't know. I checked everywhere. I don't know where these last 20 coins are.
Mario gains more courage to fight Bowser. Um, what do I do, Chad? It's called Explore the Town. What, what am I not doing right? There's no way to deposit my coins. Maybe there's more coins at nighttime, do you guys think? But I did everything. I did everything! Whatever. I obviously need 200 coins eventually, but... Oh, shit, wait. I didn't go in the post office. That's the one place I didn't check. I didn't go in the post office. I didn't go in the post office. Please give me hella coins, postman. This is a warp pad. You can return to the main level when you stand on it. What the hell you mean the main level? Yo, what's up, Mario? Today's a pretty slow day at work. Do you want to have a quick race through town? I'll give you a prize if you win. The only rule is that you're not allowed to run on top of buildings. Okay, the problem is, I don't know where we're going. That's the thing, like, sorry, hold on, let me check it out. Uh, I don't know where the destination is. I don't know where I'm going! Did he say where to go? Did he say where the fuck we're running to? Oh my gosh, there's Chucky is now? What is going on? What the fuck is this? The holy shit, there's explosives everywhere. I don't even know where the destination is. I guess I gotta follow the fucking arrows. No, stop it, bitch! Well, there's more coins. How am I supposed to get more coins? Well, fuck this guy's race. I'm just gonna try to get coins. Yeah, that's all I care about. Fuck you, bitch. There's so much lag because they spammed bob -ombs in this hallway. There's like 50 billion bob -ombs. Yeah, well, grabbing all the coins is gonna take a lot more work if I were to lose than beating or having this guy beat me in the race. Unless having him beat me in the race insta-kills me, in which case I'm gonna be pissed. Come on, purple malurple! Yeah. Huh. Alright, get me out of this lag-infested zone. I only need nine more coins. <laughs> this part is so fucking jank. Wait, if I kill that guy, if I kill that guy, I get a blue coin. Okay, never mind, he's awake. Please don't die now, Mario. Please don't die, please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. Why are there so many snowmen? This game is like, there we go. There we go, I hate whatever. I got the star for collecting all the coins, that's all I give a shit about. I can race the postman next. That's what they call interest. You've recovered three stars, only two more. Oh, that's it, oh, that's easy. Hurry up, you don't have all day. So there's one from the postman, and then there's one probably somewhere at nighttime that we haven't done yet. Get the fuck out of my way! Woohoo! What the fuck is that? When the hell did I ever message your bitch ass? I don't even know who you are! Heedin' the one? Who the fuck even are you? I knew you'd be slow, but not that slow. <laughs> Proceeds to hit the hardest yoinky sploinky known to man. What the fuck? Proceeds to hit the hardest yoinky sploinky. Huh? Let's, uh, try that race with the Postman again. There's more stuff, though, because... Okay, never mind. I figured out where the, um... I figured out... <laughs> I've been following since 2019, and he doesn't remember. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I remember you. You're the guy with the blue name. I remember now. Alright. So, there's a star for racing this guy, and then there's a star for getting the, the mama penguin's baby back. Because she's like, my baby is drowning. He's drowning in the pool. Help him. I was like, okay, I can't get him because he's past the cage. Ding dong. Fuck out the way. Go, Mario. Go, Mario. Go, 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 go. Go, Mario. Go, Mario. Go, 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 go. Get the fuck out the way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Do you think the baby's dead by nighttime? If we... How the hell would he be alive by nighttime? He'd been drowning for 12 hours straight. That's insanity. Get off me! I don't know you. Sweet. How long do I drown? I, I can probably only hold my breath for two minutes. If I'm under the water for three minutes or more, I'm likely going to die. Ah, shoot. I can't believe I lost. Well, well, a deal is a deal. I better get back to work before my boss realizes that I turned the entire town into a giant racetrack. Yeah, that's what I thought. Bitch. Whoa, I didn't even see that chain chomp there. What the hell? Okay, get the hell away from me, please. I like how every place that the star spawns is a different hat. There was the bunny hood, the Don Garo's mask, the postman's hat. What was the other one? Oh, there wasn't one. It was just uh, getting all the coins. Well, this is fun. This isn't like overly difficult or stupid. It might not be the funniest thing ever, but I'm kind of enjoying myself tonight. Uh, Alright, and then I guess nighttime. Damn, we have 215 coins. That's wild. A lot of lag. No, uh, co no, collecting the coins got me the star immediately. The bank teller was just telling me that once I got 200, the star would spawn. So wait, do I have to collect the five fairies? Well then what the hell's with the penguin? Is that just like a big fat joke? The bank could have had something that's possible. Like skibbity? <laughs> oh yeah. Well, sucks that I missed the skibbity. What does this have to say? If you want access to the top of the clock tower, go to the Astral Observatory and ask the astronomer to open the door for you. How have I been yelling at the top of my lungs? I have been talking at a reasonable volume the entire stream. The only complaint is the lag, but I mean, what they're doing is kind of impressive, so I'm not going to really nitpick. It's still playable by all means. Yeah, wait a second. Is the penguin alive now? I don't know, chat. It's nighttime and the penguin's gone. <gasps> Whoa! Wait, holy shit! Uh, was that supposed? Was I supposed to go through it? Oh no! You're not sure why, but. You apparently had a reservation. Wait, whoa, whoa, I'm dying. I'm literally dying. What the fuck is going on? Why is everything glitching out? How the fuck do I live? This is insane. Where the fuck's the move? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna... Holy shit, it's fucking Ben Drowned. What the fuck is this? Oh, hell no, dude. That was Ben. Ben. 
You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Am I soft locked? Is that it? What about the fifth, the five fairies? Please don't tell me I lost all my progress. I'm gonna throw up blood. Oh, you said wait a few times. It's like that in the creepy pasta. Fuck! I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't read that till I already restarted. It looks like it saves my progress, anyways. It saves my progress. It saves my progress. Uh, we can go back to that in a second. Let me just try to get all the stars. You don't think that was the final boss? Well, they said that the final boss is at the top of the clock tower. But do you think that the penguin's gonna have different dialogue now? Well, because they said we need to op we need to talk to the guy in the observatory to open up the clock tower, but the penguin was blocking the observatory. Yeah, let's see if the penguin moves the fuck out the way now. The last time I saw him, he was playing at the laundry pool. I told him it's too dangerous to swim there, but he never listens. I won't move until you find him. I will wait all day if I have to. Uh, yeah, let me get the last star. I've got one more star to get. Um... Things get a little laggy at night time. Well, that, that Ben Drowned shit definitely made this game a lot more uh, exciting. Now I kind of want to know what the hell's going to happen at the end. No! It's hard to do with so much lag. I can't fucking see. Yeah, that was actually pretty cool. Like, the whole, like, penguin at the end of the thing. And then the Ben drop. I I'll go back and do it. And then we'll wait a few cycles to see if there is, like, uh, a solution or something. But, yeah. Let me just continue to collect the rest of the fairies. I mean, hey, this has been interesting. Definitely seems like a narrative adventure. There's a fairy there. And there should be two more. Cat Cafe's door is still closed. Okay. I wonder if there's anybody scrolling through the Majora's Mask category and they see this and they're like, what the hell is this? Oh, interesting. See, I never... I didn't really know the details of the creepypasta. I mean, I knew of it, but I didn't know the details. There's a fairy up there. Okay. Alright, one more. Wait, the milk bar is open at night! I love this song! What? This is crazy! There's, there's more shit at night than I thought! Yo, what's up? I'm gonna be rowdy and start causing a bar fight! Hey Mario, you wanna help me out right now? You see, I haven't even opened the bar yet. And this guy just comes in, he starts screaming some dumb shit. <laughs> I don't even think he's drunk. He's just being an asshole. What the heck is going on, dude? Could you take care of him for me? The guy's being belligerent? Yeah, right? The milk bar is vibing. I gotta whoop this guy's ass now. I'm nobody's child! Huh? Who the fuck are you? 
Back off, bro. Don't touch me, bitch. He's drunk. Drunk piece of shit. Mario's getting into a bar fight. Get the fuck off me! Oh my god. What have I become? A monster. That's what I am. But if it wasn't for you, Mario, I would have never seen the error in my ways. Thanks, Mario. Thank you for everything. But I'm still nobody's child! <laughs> what the fuck? Who wrote this guy? A schizophrenic man? Well, what the hell's the point of the five fairies? We got all the stars. Or maybe we need six stars. Maybe I misread. I don't know why. I don't know where I thought I only needed one more, but I may maybe I pulled that out of my ass. Maybe there was always six. I don't fucking know. Wait, does, does he thank me now that I killed the guy? Let's see. No, you don't say nothing. Yeah, there, it wasn't King bob it was King Womp. This is one of the first Mario games where King bob isn't the damn boss. Kind of feels sad. Wait, did it save? <gasps> the penguin's asleep! I'm not gonna go in there yet until we get the fairies, but the penguin's passed the fuck out on Xanax. Holy shit, the penguin zanned out. It probably didn't save my fairies, damn it. Or maybe it did. I don't know. Go check if there's a silver rupee at night. Okay. Hold on. One second. Holy shit, there's so many in here. There's a fairy in the tree, I see it. This is scary as fuck. Wait, why is it scary? This is cool, actually. This is getting better and better. This is actually getting better and better. I'm into this. So there's actually three more fairies. I don't know where I thought there was only... Oh, the floating great fairy. And yeah, I could see that. I could see that. There's probably a fairy in the, um, the rupee spot. Because there's still three left, and I don't know where the hell they all are. <gasps> Swordsman shop is open. Swordsman shop is open. Oh, but there he is! <laughs> there he is, guys! You missed him! We spoke too soon! We spoke too soon, Chad. There's our boy. I'm the big Bob Bob. You want to obtain my star, you have to earn it the hard way. Oh, fuck. Here he is. Great, he's got fire and shit. Stop. Stop. Come here, bitch. And we thought we could go five seconds without King bob -omb. Silly us. Alright, where the- wait, how do I heal? Give me some healing, dickheads. Gotcha, boy! For someone I've never met before, you sure did try to kill me. And even though you succeeded, you've still earned my respect. Why is this dialogue so funny? This game, this game takes itself so seriously, but then at the same time, the dialogue is like a fucking meme. What the hell is this shit? There is apparently way more stars than I thought. I honestly don't know where I got five stars in my head from. I don't know where that came from, literally. Somebody, like, inceptioned that shit into my brain. 
I don't know where the number five came from because the game must not have said it because there's obviously more than five. Oh. Well, who the hell is this ass wipe? Damn it. Oh, hey, Mario, it's me, the banker. I just spent all my money on these worthless lottery tickets. Could you give me 200 coins? I'll give you another star in return. No, I don't want to collect fucking... I don't want to collect 200 coins at nighttime, too. Boo. No, I'm not fighting this knob slobberer again. I'm coming in here to get the blue coin switch. Holy shit. Yeah, but I want to at least get the fairies. I want to at least get the fairies. Can I just always, like, keep grinding these? No, these guys don't shoot them out anymore. I've already gotten five out of the eight fairies. Might as well try to get the other ones. Keep genocide routing everybody. Is there, no, no curiosity shop is open. The bank is closed. Where the hell would the other fairies be? If it was 100 coins, that's one thing, but 200 coins is a lot, dude. That's like some absolute bullshit. Unless there's like a shit ton up here. You're right, the map did start, but I think if I go in there, I lose my... Yeah, you could if... Well, there's one here, there's one here. So, two more fairies. Two more fairies. I got the one by the laundry pool, I got the one back there, I got one in the other area. Hmm. The door by the bell? I could check. Either way, there's coins up there. No, that was a good, good, uh, recommendation, though. Chuck you over. There might be a shit ton in the observatory, though. I didn't even think about that. So, hold on. Because we have to take the whole path down here. Yeah, there actually might be a shit ton down here. Yeah, okay. Start to see. That makes a lot more sense. I have one, two, three, four, six fairies. I need two more. Oh, one more! So the last one actually might just be in the observatory. The last one just might be in the observatory. I only need one more fairy now. Because we're in the clock town sewers right now. Oh gosh. I'm scared to get these. What if I die? I'm going to leave that one coin there just in case. I did get two in the central area, yeah. Two in the central area, one in the laundry pool. Oh no. I may have only gotten one in the inn area. Oh 
I'll check again then. How the fuck am I supposed to go up a ladder? Oh, that's creative. I was like, how the hell is there a ladder going to work in Mario 64 engine? I don't think I saw any in the bank area. A floating one near the inn. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. I did get those two. Any fairies in here? I need five more coins. That's it, bro. Near the terminal entrance? All right, I'll check. Oh, you want to go to the top of the clock tower? Yeah, sure, whatever. One second, chat. I'm sorry. That was a weird cutscene. Well, the door's open now. Five coins, chat. Five coins. I feel like there's like three Goombas that I didn't kill in the bar. There's one that's going to be on this torch up here that I'm scared to touch. I've got hiccups. Is there, some, is there shit up here? No. Oh, chill out, Mario. All right, relax, relax. I said fucking relax, dude. I'm just trying. There's like one coin up there that I didn't get. And then I'll only need four left. There we go. Got it. Fucking penguin passed out is funny to me. I don't know why. Alright. So, let me go by the bank area. Hold up. There may have been... Oh, there's a Chucky! Yeah, there, there we go. These are all the coins I need right here. Sweet! Ta-da! Alright. I think after the fairies, that'll be eight stars. I think that's gotta be everything, right? Then we'll have 100% of this shit. What if you can only defeat Ben Drowned if you have all the stars? I see it. I saw it. How did I miss that? I saw it from far away. There we go. There's the last fairy. Found him. Ta-da! Sweet. Then it looks like we go to the top of the clock tower. I wish we fought Skull Kid instead of Bowser, because we fight Bowser in every damn game. But it would probably be very, very hard to make a Mario versus Skull Kid fight, so I'm not going to complain too hard. And honestly, for what this was, this was a pretty cool way to burn through about 45 minutes, you know? This was a, the, a good way to burn through the better half of an hour, so... I enjoyed this quite a bit. And this will be up on the YouTube channel, for anybody who wants to rewatch it or see some stuff that they missed. You've recovered all eight stars. Now it is time to fight Bowser. Wait a minute. Weren't you supposed to find someone? Oh well. I'm sure it doesn't matter. Oh gosh. Ben? Is that who we're supposed to find? Mr. Ben? Save state? Alright, I'm not save stating to cheat, but I'm save stating just so we can come back to Ben if the game, like, deletes or whatever. Alright, here we go, chat! Oh boy, here we go.
It's too late to stop me, Mario. The moon is going to crash and there's nothing you can do to stop it. You want to know where the stupid mask is? It's in my right pocket, of course. I'm not wearing it because I won't even need it to kill you. AKA, I didn't know how to fucking put the mask on Bowser. How much of Mario's mask did I miss? Uh, pretty much all of it. Okay, uh, here's the problem, Chet. Oh, I see the bomb. Never mind. I was like, where the fuck do I throw him? Get these purple pieces of garbage off me. Yeah, this will be up on YouTube for sure, dude. This was a Super Mario Zelda creepypasta experience. And we're not even done with it yet. We're not even done with it yet. We're fighting Bowser, but we got some investigating to do after. Do you guys understand how hard it's going to be to throw Bowser when the bombs are that high up? I guess not hard at all, because I'm a Mario Master. My bad, I forgot who I am. I forgot how fucking sick I am. Come here, bitch. Oh! Grab him, dickhead! I've got no more healing. This is actually way harder than it needs to be because of all this shit. Well, here he comes. Uh, I don't even know where the next bomb is. All the way the hell over there? Let's see if I can trick this shot. Oh, come on! Did you guys see how close I was? That's bullshit. I was spot on. I just wasn't close enough to him. I was right on his ass, though. That should have counted. Thank you, Marco. Finally, someone got my back around here. Come on, dude! This is so cringe! This is impossible because there's fucking fire that's going to kill me, dude. I hate this. Oh, ha ha ha, Mario. I'm here to kill you and stab you and smoke you like a smoke sausage. Nine minute boss fight. Yeah, and then they have all the Chuckias come in, dude. This is bullshit. There's like fire and Chuckias and electrical shocks. The hardest thing is it's like hard to see the bombs, you know? Because they're like so high up. There's so much fire, too. And lag. Don't forget the lag. Come on, Bowser. This motherfucker is not gonna go where I want him to go. Okay, well, I can't be near the middle because the fire spitter will just get me. Come on, bitch. Slow ass. How the hell did I do this the first couple times? Shit, I actually needed him to rush me, but I wanted those, I needed those coins too. Why is this harder than the first time? There we go. Now I have to like not fuck up the throws, which is already really hard. There we go, okay. I just have to like stay near the edge no matter what. Come after me! This is so fucking ghetto, dude! Yeah. 
Shot number two. Let's go. Luckily, my aim is on point, but I'm still getting nervous. Where's the last bomb at? Oh, sorry, it's on this side. I'm getting nervous because I can still die. Because it's still horse shit. I can't fucking see! I can't see! Holy shit! How the hell did I dodge that? I couldn't even see where I was. If I can just make this shot, I'll be so happy. If not, I'm going to be... No, no pressure, right? Give me your energy, chat. Give me your energy. I fucking choked, dude. I choked, dude. I knew I was going to choke, bro. None of you guys gave me your energy. Ah! How is this that electrocute me from all the way up there, dog? Alright, shh. This is such an awkward angle to throw this motherfucker at. I hate this. I hate this! I'm gonna die! I don't wanna die! I'm doing this shit again! Stop with the electrocution shit! I gotta have him, like, run over here and then run to the other one. The camera is so bad because I'm, like, gangbanged against the wall! Alright, now sprint over here. Sprint over here. Stop fucking jumping. Sprint! Whoa! Alright. The gods have given me another chance. Just don't... Don't take this last throw. Just, just swoosh it. Just swish it, Mario. Just swish it. That's gotta be it. Thank God, dude. Oh my gosh. Now I gotta talk to him without getting killed. Why did I have to try to show off? I knew I should have used the stupid mask! It's too late now. I gotta go before the moon crashes. Until next time, Mario. Got a blast! Don't kill me there! Oh my gosh, I can't move because of the cutscene. That is actually really sick, though, that Majora's Mask is in the game. Get that piece of fire away from me. Alright, Mario's got Majora's Mask, now what? Yeah, Mario's sticking his face right here. Hey, everybody. Hee hee hee. You did it, Mario. You've beaten Bowser and returned to my mask. With the power of Majora's Mask, I can undo Bowser's curse on the moon and prevent it from crashing into Termina. You truly are a lifesaver. Now you can return home, just like I promised. Just go downstairs and go through the big stone that was closed earlier. I finally have it. Yeah, that doesn't sound ominous at all. I feel like Mario did something bad. I feel like we probably shouldn't have given, given the spooky ghost a powerful mask. Oh, credits. Okay. Special thanks. Thanks this. Thanks for playing. Alright. Is that it? What? What a shitty ending is that? What the hell kind of shithole ending is that?